Creative Growth. I'm Ingrid Blackburn and today I am going to teach you how to make a banner flag. I use banner flags in lots of different ways, um, sometimes just exactly as they sound like a flag. You can see here are several that I've done in some of our designer series paper from last year. And sometimes I use them actually as a banner to go with the greeting, just as on this card here. So I'm going to quickly ha show you how that's done. What you're going to need are a couple of tools. There's two real ways in to, that you can do this. You can make them with paper snips, um, which are one of my favorite tools. I use these constantly. Um, and then my number one punch that I use, I'm sure you've seen that in my blog, is my one inch square punch. And this is primarily how I make banners, but I'm going to show you both ways. So let's get started. First I'm going to show you with the paper snips. What you can do with this is you see I have just a scrap piece of paper here, and I'll use this as a greeting. I'm just going to go ahead and cut up as far as I want to go. Go from one corner to that slit, and from this corner to that slit. Fairly easy, right? So there you go. You can see how simple this is. And that way you always perfect have a perfect banner to use either way. Now I'm going to show you how to do this with the one inch square punch too. To me this is the easier and quicker way. So what I do is I use my punch upside down so that I can always see what I'm doing. I'm going to unlock it. These are the new Stampin' Up! punches and I love these. They rock. There's three points that I want to make sure that I'm aware of. I have this point this point, and then the third one's going to be in the center here, perfectly in between the top and bottom. Of course, it doesn't have to be perfect, but that's what we strive for. We have some negative space here in our punch, and I'm going to bring this point and this point into that negative space. So you can see that I have them both here. Now, I want you to be careful because the number one mistake is that you only have one in there, and you're not aware of your three points. This would be your third point. So let me bring that back in there. Point A, point B, and point C is right here. So as long as I have those in there, and that, see this one is in the center between the top and the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and punch, and there you go. There's your banner. Very simple. Now I'm going to show you how I do this for my greetings. I use a scrap of paper, and generally it's about a half inch wide. And this is usually what you end up trimming off of your um, larger sheet when you're making cards, so don't necessarily throw those all away. I have a ton of white and vanilla that I keep just to do um, greeting banners with. I'm going to bring this point and this point into my negative space right here, and I want to keep this somewhat in the center, and then just go ahead and punch. Very simple. There you go. You can see it's a little off. That's okay. Even I make mistakes too. What's nice is you can come in here and you can fix it. Just like that and it's perfect. Now I'm going to show you how you do it with a greeting. Generally I stamp my greeting first, then I come in with my punch. Now you don't want to, you see I can see where that greeting is, so I'm going to come out a little bit, make sure I have both points again in that negative space, and then go ahead and punch, and there it's perfect. And now I can just trim it down to whatever size I want, and then go ahead and use that on a card and I'm ready to go. So now I'm just going to show you a couple of quick cards. You can see that here we use it as a, a greeting. Here I just use it as an accent. I love this card. Larger greeting right here. Another cute little greeting. Very simple. Um, I like to keep little um, elements on there. Another great one. You can see I do this a lot. I love it. This one's not perfect, but it looks great. A little sponging added to it really finishes the card. I love making these. You can always use it just as an accent. It doesn't necessarily need to have a greeting on it. So I hope you learned something with me today. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.